Hey, welcome back everybody to PK's Lab. Today we're going to do something a little less on the regular electronic nerd front. We're going to do some homework. Got to balance your lawnmower blades. How do you do it? Well, most people use the nail on the wall trick. Um, but fortunately for us, our seers, we a lot of times have some old motors that we can use as a kind of a balancing jig. So let me show you how it's done. So the actual setup is really straightforward. I've got an old... Cobra, whoever cares, whatever motor. <laughs> These things are notorious for throwing magnets because the epoxy would let loose, um, which is perfect for us because you know we don't we don't need them. So, anyways, basically you just have two 3D printed parts, or you could just take some wood and fashion this together. Take the motor, pull out the C clip at the back, or whatever if it's got a holding screw. Knock out the magnets, like so. Attach it to the front, and you've got a nice low friction rolling surface. And to give you an idea of how low friction it is, this thing will spin for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, it actually might be a little bit too low friction because it's almost hard sometimes to tell where the balance point is. I shouldn't say that. I mean, it, it gets there. You just have to have patience to show it. And this one's actually still out of balance. So somewhere maybe a little too far. Um, but this is just like balancing a prop. If you're a fixed wing guy, heavy side goes down. So you have to remove some material, probably somewhere around there or so. And then, you know, move it to all the different orientations and let it go. And once it's balanced, it will stay in that position. Obviously this one isn't balanced. And, and that's the heavy side. So I'm going to keep this short and just end it there. Hopefully this helps somebody in the future with their homework. All right, till next time. See you.